and welcome to the Roy Rogers Writers Club. Trigger, say hello to the boys and girls, will you? <laughs> That's it. Well, buckaroos, it's sure swell getting a chance to be here with you at our club meeting, and I can't think of a nicer way to start things off than with a cowboy's prayer. Oh, Lord, I reckon I'm not much just by myself. I fail to do a lot of things I ought to do. But, Lord, when trails are steep and passes high, help me to ride it straight the whole way through. And in the falling dusk, I get the final call. I do not care how many flowers they send. Above all else, the happiest trail would be for you to say to me, that's right, my friend. Amen. You know, boys and girls, the real purpose of the Writers Club is for all of us to get together and become better acquainted. Help each other. Especially help prevent any and all kinds of accidents. Do that for me, will you? You know, the best Roy Rogers writers are the ones who live up to the rules on the back of your membership card. Well, sir, right now, Trigger and I have got a few things to take care of in Hollywood, so we're going to turn this meeting over to the ranch foreman of our club, the manager of this theater. I'll be looking for you at our meeting next week, so be sure to be here. And until then, from Trigger and me, goodbye, good luck, and may the good Lord take a liking to you. See you next week. better protection. Otherwise, we'll be 10 years trying to finish this railroad line. Hey, listen, if it wasn't for that tin badge of yours, I'd break your jaw. Hold it. I saw you slip that queen out of your sleeve. Give me back my... You yeah, that's me. right. right. All right, boys, this is it. She didn't believe my story. I should have saved my breath. But as much as I insisted I would have no part of her scheme, Vera was taking it for granted I would. Well, do I rate a whistle? You sure do. My goose was cooked. She had me. Oh, would you rather call the cops and tell them you killed the man and stole I his didn't money? Tell yes, you did. No, I didn't. You know I didn't. All right, then. Suppose I call the cops. Match what? Of course, I'd have to take him back to the lab and make an accurate comparison. It's good enough for me. Moody, you're under arrest. Arrest for what? The murder of Mayor Palmer. I know. Those fingerprints, that's all I've heard from Nadine, from you, from everyone. They convicted him. Fingerprints don't lie, Miss Palmer. Hello, Paul. I don't like to have you see me like this. 
As if it made any difference. You don't believe in the verdict, then? Of course not. You couldn't make me believe it. Oh, no. But don't you see, he couldn't possibly have made these prints himself. They had to be put here by somebody else. You mean they were forged? I guess that Kelso used this plate to experiment with before he put the prints on the phone. Hmm. What's up, Lieutenant? You're under arrest, King, for the murder of Police Commissioner Kelso. For complicity in the murder of Mayor Palmer. Okay, copper, just try taking me in. to make him more important than haunted houses. So save up for next Sunday. I couldn't get you out of my mind, baby. You were there with her in the dark. Is there some law against my seeing her? Yes, mine. and the Barbarians, starring Steve Reeves, Mr. Hercules himself, Goliath, inspiring love in a woman of fire. The power of their passion became the envy of the courts of the warlords. Goliath, grandest of lovers. Goliath, greatest of warriors. One of the year's most exciting big screen adventures. Practical, in an era when men were masters or slaves and women, chattels or queens. Fire! Goliath and the Barbarians. Goliath and the Barbarians. Starring Steve Reeves, Mr. Hercules himself. He was a man so stalwart and strong, he earned the name Goliath. Their love setting aflame savagery such as the screen seldom shows. A giant spectacle. Hello. I'm Gerald Moore. Liz Renee plays opposite me in the picture you're about to see, Date with Death, which was made with a revolutionary new process called psychorama, or subliminal communication by precox. 
In Psychorama, which was developed by Dr. Robert Corrigan and Mr. Hal C. Becker, by using this machine, a word or a picture can be flashed on the screen so fast that although you don't see it consciously, it can put information directly into your mind. By this method, it can affect your emotions so that anger, fear, or suspense will race through your subconscious mind. Oh, and this machine is called a polygraph, or a lie detector. Scientifically measures emotional reactions. And it has been proven that the human being's emotional reactions to psychorama are tremendous. Psychorama by Precon has been written up in Life, Popular Science, thousands of newspaper articles. It amazes me, but it scares some people. The United States government and various state governments have debated making it illegal because of the fear of brainwashing. And it's been banned on television as being too powerful because people have been afraid that it might make them buy something that they don't want. But scientists, among them Dr. Corrigan, have proven there's nothing to be afraid of. They have proven that your subconscious mind, like your conscious mind, senses everything that you see or hear. Psychorama cannot make you do or believe anything that you don't want to. And there's no advertising in the picture you're about to see. The only purpose of psychorama is to increase your enjoyment of the picture by making you feel fear and suspense as you've never felt them before. These subliminal symbols are 100% safe for you. They may frighten you, but they, <laughs> they won't hurt you. Let's take a look at a scene from A Date With Death. In it, there will be two pictures on the screen at the same time. One, the motion picture that you see consciously with your eyes, and the other, is a subliminal picture. of the audience with very good eyesight and looking at the right part of the screen at the right time could possibly see them. Now let's run the same scene again. But this time we'll flash the symbols on the screen slow enough for everyone to see them. that you saw are the ones that only your brain will see in a date with death. Now let's try it again the same way, the same way you saw it the first time. Try to remember where and when the symbols appear and look closely for them again this time. subliminal symbols that time. That's the way they appear throughout a date with death. Stabbing into your subconscious mind all through the picture. Psychorama won't hurt you if you live through it. In fact, I think you'll enjoy it. Now, uh, if you'll excuse me, I have a date with death. Everything. What do you mean? I'm not arguing theory, General. I'm here to ask you, to beg you, to save your own world. A monster that can control all sources of the Earth's power. 
able to pull man-made spaceships from their orbit, making of those it chooses slaves. Of this woman, a willing handmaiden. Of the chief of police, a cold-blooded killer. Well, I've known you for five years. You just killed a man in cold blood. Why? I'll have to place you under protective custody. Peter Graves, the scientist who fought it. Beverly Garland, who believed her love stronger than it. Lee Van Cleef, whose brilliant mind was captured by it. Are you really ready to stop loving me? I'll need you even when no emotion exists. hundred eyes have seen comes the experiences of the she creature. <laughs> Brought the screen life by Chester Morris, Marla English, Kathy Downs, Lance Fuller, Tom Conway, Frida Innescourt, and Ron Randall. It's an adventure into the occult such as few people have known, and only those who see it can believe. You're not going for that supernatural hokum up here. I don't really know what I'm going for. I know he's a killer. Now you are traveling back through time and space. Farther, farther back, back. Under his spell, she was both herself and another being, the she-creature seeking life sustenance from the stolen heartbeats of others. <laughs> She was a woman born to be loved, and two men wanted her. One, a man whose powerful mad mind controlled her every reflex, except her love. No! The other, willing to fight any odds for her love. You've been living in shadows. I want to bring you back to life. Society dances to hide the hysterical terror caused by their sudden intimacy with death. You'll never forget the key. Johnny Carter. Oh, sure, they're from another planet. What a dilemma for young lovers Steve Terrell and Gloria Castile. You thought I was kidding. Nobody will believe the invasion of the saucer men. All this makes it seem natural for a beer-drinking bull to appoint himself chaperone of Lover's Lane. Hey, for Pete's sake! And a farmer with the longest shotgun you've ever seen plays the villain. It's too fantastic to believe. Just think of it. Only this special unit and the President of the United States will know what happened here tonight. You mean you think we know what's happened?
But I'm afraid that uh, that description applies much more to a, another picture which I've completed called The Trouble with Harry. Uh, Harry, of course, is a body. The one we're talking about, uh, uh, Catch a Thief, is, uh, I would say, rather short in the corpse department, except one unfortunate fellow who is chipped off a cliff by Cary Grant. We do have other bodies in it, though, nice, curvaceous feminine bodies floating in the lovely blue Mediterranean in the south of France. Yes, uh, um, uh, Grace worked for me in Dial M for Murder and uh, Rear Window and uh, Carey worked with me in Suspicion, that was with Joan Fontaine some years ago, and also in Notorious with Ingrid Bergman. Well, I think you ought to wait and see him with Grace Kelly. They have a little love scene in that one, which we can say, uh, catches fire slightly, is that the word? I, uh, it was rather a coincidence that during the scene a transformer burnt out during the shooting and the whole electrical system went. Well, we shot it on location in what is one of the most beautiful stretches of coast, coast in the world. That's the uh, French Riviera, which runs from... Uh, um, Marseille right through to Monte Carlo and uh, of course it is rather impressive since it was shot in Vista Vision. Well you'll have to look pretty fast. I allow half of my face to be seen while sitting next to Cary Grant in a bus. He, of course, is uh, naturally being a thief on the run from the police around this time. Was it some Chinese uh, philosopher who once said that one picture is worth 10,000 words? Why don't we show you a few little scenes from the picture now? I'm sorry, you see, it's all part of a diabolical plot. We want you to come and see the picture on a big screen in Technicolor and Vista Vision.
boys and girls are having a hop at the local soda fountain. Innocently, they dance. Innocent of a new and deadly menace lurking behind closed doors. Marijuana, the burning weed with its roots in hell. In this film, you will see the ease with which this vicious plant can be grown in your neighbor's yard, rolled into harmless-looking cigarettes, hidden in an innocent shoe or watch case. In this startling film, you will see dopesters lure children to destruction. We're going over to Joe's place. Why don't you come along? We have a date to play instead of double. Oh, you can play any time. Come on, we'll have some laughs. Can I go along with you? Sure. Hey, I'll see you at dinner, sis. If you want a good smoke, try one of these. You will meet Bill, who once took pride in his strong will as he takes the first step toward enslavement. Of course, if you're afraid. Smoking the soul-destroying reefer, they find a moment's pleasure, but at a terrible price. Debauchery, violence, murder, suicide. And the ultimate end of the marijuana addict. Hopeless insanity. important film now before it is too late. I think the police department are entirely too lenient with these vicious exhibitions of sex. You're entirely right, Henry. I don't see what's happening to our youngsters today. Sex Madness takes you behind the scenes where you will learn the story of young and innocent Millicent as she finds herself falling in with bad company. Oh, I'm tired. Me for bed. Bed? Did you say bed? <laughs> that's not to relax him, that's for action. You will see youngsters caught up in a hotbed of sex. This play has the cutest little Pomeranian upstairs. Would you like to see it? I'm looking at Pomeranian. <laughs> You will follow Millicent down the crimson path of immorality. Out of all the wonderful things a girl ever dreams about, fame and fortune and luxury. Oh, Senorita, you can have all of this and more. You can have wealth, luxury. You can have all of this if only you'd let me. Oh, come on, bring him up. Ah, uh, bring him up a little higher. Up, up, and. Uh. She lost not only her honor. But her health. Not the aspect of the disease will be left. It'll even be fit for me. What in God's name are you talking about? I said I was pure. You will see it all in this no hold barred film expose. Lust. Man, oh man, she got it. Boy, oh boy, look at that baby. Debauchery. You can phone home and you're staying with friends. Perversion in its extreme. Sex Madness. Coming soon to this theater. A man who loved with fierce, demanding passion. who ran wild in a reign of terror that spread murder in his trail. The thing that went wrong in the secret atomic laboratory afflicted him with the most hideous curse ever visited on man, forcing him to cower in the darkness like a hunted animal. For one touch of the sun's bright rays transformed him into the reptilian Jekyll and Hyde monstrosity who couldn't control his lust to kill.
to be free. Now I know that the only way I can be happy is to be alone with a man I love. The kind that say they don't fall, fall the hardest of all. So never, never, no, never, never, never say you'll never fall in love. I love you. Here is the strangest of love stories. You are in love with him. Yes. And he's in love with me. I do now pronounce you man and wife. The strangest marriage the law has ever permitted. And the strangest of all bridal nights. And because of Rene, whom few men could resist, the strangest of triangles. Suppose I told him the truth. About what? About us. Murder that baffled justice. A case that has no precedent in the history of the courts. Because until death, they are chained for life. So you're the Range Busters. Dusty King, Alibi Terhune, my name's Corey. <laughs> So that's how you've been winning, eh? Healing off the bottom. Give me back my chip. Stay where you are, everybody, and keep your hands idle. Sit down. I want to talk to you. Get back there, Archie. everybody. This is going to be a fair fight. to be a lot of noise. But I, as a scientist, take many things into consideration. A layman might overlook. Ever smelled anything like this before? Miss Lewis, I want you to tell me everything you know about your accompanist. Oh, no. Eddie it, it couldn't be mixed up in this. Why, well, he's... Well, we're engaged. Suppose he's two people. The man you love and the ghoul. Murders have affected your mind. Now, my plan is to sit in the garden and when the killer makes one of those power dives, I'll blast him. <laughs> 